If you're a cat owner, you definitely know the sound. That constant thump, thump, thump of scratching, or that wet, slick sound of nonstop licking and chewing. It's enough to drive you a little crazy, right? But for your cat, it's genuinely miserable. And a lot of the time, it's way more than just a quirky habit. It's a sign of a really complex medical problem. And today, we're gonna get to the bottom of the itchy cat. So, does this look familiar to you? That endless cycle of licking, scratching, or maybe chewing at their fur? It is so easy to write it off as, oh, he's just being fussy, or, well, that's just what cats do. But what if it's not? What if it's actually a signal of something much, much deeper? A sign that your cat's own immune system is, well, kind of going haywire. So let's start the investigation. To solve this mystery, we first have to put on our detective hats and learn to spot the clues. Because the signs of itchiness, what your vet would call pruritus, they aren't always what you'd expect. Cats are masters of hiding their discomfort. They're often what we call secretive groomers, meaning they do it when you're not even looking. You see, it goes so far beyond just a simple scratch here and there. As owners, we might see all these things separately and not connect the dots. You're finding way more hairballs than usual? Yep, that's a classic sign they're swallowing more fur from over-grooming. Or what about constant head shaking? Or those ear infections that just seem to keep coming back? Those can all be clues that a hidden allergy is the real villain here. Okay, so we've seen the clues on the outside, now let's dig a little deeper. Let's look at what's actually happening inside your cat's body that's making them so miserable. And it all boils down to one thing, an immune system that's overreacting. At its very core, you know, an allergy is basically a case of mistaken identity. Your cat's immune system spots something that's totally harmless, you know, like a bit of dust or pollen or even a protein in its food, and it freaks out. It flags it as this dangerous invader and launches a full-scale inflammatory attack. And that attack is what causes all those itchy, frustrating symptoms we see. Now, cats can be allergic to a few different things. As you can see, flea allergies are by far the number one culprit. A single flea bite can set off a major reaction. But the big one we're focusing on today, a huge cause of that chronic, relentless itch, is atopic dermatitis. And that's basically an allergic reaction to things in the environment, like dust mites, pollens, and molds. And this right here? This is probably the most important difference to understand between us and our cats. When we get environmental allergies, we get hay fever, right? We're sneezing, our nose is running, our eyes are watering. But for cats, it's like hay fever for their skin. Instead of a respiratory reaction, their body's primary response is intense head-to-toe itchiness, which drives all that over-grooming and skin damage. So how in the world does a vet figure out if it's atopic dermatitis and not one of the other hundred things that can make a cat itch? Well, it is truly a process of investigation. There's no single blood test or skin test that just screams, yes, it's atopy. It's all about methodically ruling out the other suspects first. And this brings us to the most critical concept in this whole process. Feline atopic dermatitis is what we call a diagnosis of exclusion. What that means is your vet has to act like a detective. They have to carefully and systematically eliminate every other possible cause for the itching before they can land on acope as the final answer. This rule out process is a really logical path. First, and this is the absolute most important step, is a super strict flea control program. Why? Because flea allergies are the number one cause of itching in cats, period. If that doesn't solve it, next up, they'll investigate food allergies with a special diet trial. Then, they'll check for other culprits, things like skin mites or even ringworm. And only if the cat is still itchy after all of that can we confidently say, okay, this is atopic dermatitis. Now, that food trial I just mentioned, I'm not going to lie, it's a real test of patience for you, the owner. It means feeding your cat a very specific prescription diet and absolutely nothing else for 8 to 12 weeks. I'm serious. No treats, no table scraps, no licking another pet's bowl. It is tough for sure, but it is the only way we can reliably rule out a food allergy. All right, so once atopic dermatosis is finally confirmed, the whole game shifts from diagnosis to management. And I'm sorry to say there's no single magic pill that just fixes it. The best strategy is what we call a multimodal approach, which is just a fancy way of saying we use a combination of different therapies that are tailored specifically to your cat. 
And the goal here isn't just to stop the itch, you know, it's much bigger than that. It's about calming that inflammation and improving the health of the skin itself, making it a stronger barrier. It's about preventing those nasty secondary skin infections that pop up from all the scratching. And maybe most importantly, it's about finding a long-term plan that is safe, effective, affordable, and preserves that incredible bond you have with your cat. So let's look at the main tools in the vet's toolbox. Each one has its place. Steroids, for example, are amazing for getting a really bad flare-up under control, and they work fast, but they have risks with long-term use. Then you have something like cyclosporine, which is much safer for the long haul, but you have to be patient. It can take a good four to six weeks to really kick in. There are other options for really tough cases, and good old antihistamines can sometimes help, but honestly, their effectiveness is a total wild card. It's all about working with your vet to pick the right tool or combination of tools for your specific cat. Now, beyond just managing the symptoms, there is another option, immunotherapy, or what you might know as allergy shots. This is the only treatment available that actually tries to fix the underlying problem. It works by slowly and carefully reprogramming the immune system to stop overreacting. It's a serious commitment. It can take up to a year to see if it's working. But for the 50 to 80% of cats that respond, it can be an absolute game changer. And all of this brings us to our final and honestly most important point. Managing atopy isn't a quick fix. It's not a one and done kind of thing. It is a lifelong partnership between you, your cat, and your entire veterinary team. This quote from Veterinary Techs really says it all. Feline atopic dermatitis is a long-term disease process that is not curable but is manageable. And that is the key thing to take away from all this. Our goal isn't a cure. Our goal is successful, lifelong management that gives your cat a long, happy, and comfortable life. And you, as the owner, are a massive part of the management team. There are things you can do at home that make a huge difference. Strict, year-round flea control that is absolutely non-negotiable. Using air purifiers with HEPA filters and vacuuming a lot can slash the number of allergens in your home. And things like omega-3 fatty acid supplements can help strengthen that skin barrier from the inside out. So the next time you see your cat settle in for a marathon grooming session, or you notice a little bald patch starting to form, I want you to ask yourself this question. Is this just a funny little quirk, or could this be their silent way of asking for help? Understanding what to look for is the very first and most powerful step you can take to get them the relief they really deserve. And finally, it is so important to remember that this explainer is for educational purposes. It is not and never should be a substitute for professional veterinary advice. If you have any health concerns about your pet, please talk to a licensed veterinarian. They are the only ones who can give your furry family member the personalized care they need and deserve.